Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imona Project. We're here at the Imona Project. We're continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, inspiration, and guidance. And I have uh, one more story, uh, maybe a few more stories, about the kindness and the, uh, the good-heartedness of uh, Rabbi Zev Wolf of Zbaraj. It was his custom for the third meal on Shabbos, that late afternoon meal, the Shalish Shudas, um, the third meal, that at his home, it was a very um, holy uh, occasion, a very solemn and, 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 uh, and holy gathering of the Hasidim at, uh, at his house. And um, they carried on, the custom was to carry on conversation in a very low voice, so as not to disturb the Rebbe, who was uh, usually deep in thought or prayer. Um, now, it was... Rebbe Wolf's wish that everyone was welcome to come to Shalashur, uh, uh, the third meal at his house in Shabbos. Open door policy. Um, any can, anyone can come in, just walk in, sit down, be welcome. So, um, on one occasion, this man walked in, plopped himself down, the Hasidim, it was already pretty crowded, the Hasidim, you know, made room for him, although they knew that this person was an Amaretz. He was a ill-bred. He was a boor. And um, they figured, oh, man, please, no. Sure enough, within a minute of him sitting down, from his pocket, he pulls out this big radish, takes out a knife and starts cutting the radish up, and starts eating pieces, smacking his lips very loudly. The Hasidim couldn't handle it. They start saying, no! He says, why, why do you have to be such a boor? Why do you have to be such an amaratz? You glutton, you're eating like this, what's the matter? Even though they're trying to subdue their voices. And Abzeb Wolf heard them from the other end of the table. And um, he says, coming out of thought, he said in a somewhat louder than usual voice, you know what, I really feel like eating a really good radish. I wonder if anyone here could go get me one. The boor, the Emirates, his embarrassment was washed away in a flood of relief. <clears throat> and he grabs a handful of the cut radishes and immediately offers them uh, uh, to the Rebbe handful of the, the radishes he had cut. And by a simple, simple gesture like that, um, Reb Zeb Wolf of Zbaraj uh, demonstrated to others the simple kindness. First of all, it's a great sin to hum humiliate someone in public. It's one of the worst things you can do. But also how easy it is to to gloss over a situation like that, if you have the heart, if you have the insight um, and, the, uh, and the, the wherewithal to do it. And we all can judge people favorably, look for a way to find for uh, uh, the other person. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And on behalf of the Immuno Project, until next time, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.